surgeries. The first thing to do to prevent heart disease or to protect yourself from heart disease or to reverse heart disease is to control your intake of fast-burning sugars, and that includes fruit juice and soda pop and desserts and breads and pastas and anything that breaks down into sugar, and then simultaneously use nutrients that support sugar processing, the B vitamins, magnesium, taurine, the amino acid taurine, and the amino, amino acid arginine, chromium, and vanadium, which you'll find in the sweeties, selenium, and sulfur, and alpha lipoic acid. These are all wonderful nutritional strategies for supporting sugar. If you want to do it easily, get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack, throw in the ultimate selenium and the sweeties. Not only will you be protecting your, uh, taking care of sugar, but you'll be protecting your heart as well. Staying away from processed food is also important in supporting digestive health, getting on the probio any good probiotic supplement, and eating fermented foods. You know I love the Biolumin Nightly Essence. It's got natokinase in there. We're going to be talking about enzymes here in the next segment. Enzymes can play a major role in keeping the circulatory system flowing and keeping the blood in the circulatory system circulating and preventing blood clots. And oh, by the way, the wrong kind of estrogen poorly processed estrogen is associated with blood clots and please do not marginalize the importance of deep breathing and relaxing the body when it comes to protecting the heart we all want the fancy schmancy sexy supplements and formulas and strategies but something as simple as sitting on the couch and oxygenating your blood and blowing off carbon dioxide is way more important and way less toxic than any friggin medical model strategy you could get Tell that to your cardiologist. As far as heart disease in women go, then you want to focus on estrogen. Anytime you have an estrogen problem, use digestive health strategies, all the ones we talk about, as well as fat metabolism strategies, helping the body process fats, and that means your ultimate enzymes, extra bile salts, perhaps lecithin granules. Lecithin is spelled L-E-C. I-T-H-I-N. You can get granules at the health food store. Make sure you're using GMO-free lecithin granules. And then you might want to throw in some apple cider vinegar as well. Apple cider vinegar after all your meals. I read a really cool article on apple cider vinegar, which I'll tell you about tomorrow, for burns. Topical for burns, apple cider vinegar. All right. Hope that helps, Chloe. Thanks for your call. Let's see if we can squeeze one more in. David, what's going on, my man? Got about a minute and a half. David? David, David, going once. Do I have David? No, David. All right. I'm not sure what happened to David. Well, yeah, uh, let's go to uh, Carl, the truth Raider. Sorry, David. I don't know where you went there. Carl, the truth Raider, What's up? Got about a minute, bro. Good morning, pharmacist Ben. Good morning. What's cooking? Urinary tract infections. Yes. Think bacteria and bacteria, E. coli specifically. A couple of things for the immediate pain, and it's miserable. Use uh, Lugol solution if you can find it. Somebody told me they had a hard time finding Lugol solution. If you can't find Lugol solution, you might have to have a pharmacist compound it for you if they know how to compound it still. A lot of pharmacists have gone out of the compounding business, but uh, have a pharmacist compound Lugol solution. Put a few drops in water. You can also use something called Manos, M-A-N-N-O-S-E. That helps some folks, but mostly you want to focus on, believe it or not, digestive health. E. coli is a digestive bacteria. When, uh, when, bacteria, when bacteria in the gut get thrown off, E. coli can proliferate, and that can be a cause of UTI. See if you can link it to digestive health issues. Drinking more water can help. Sodium bicarbonate in a little bit of water sometimes can help, too. Got to move, Truth Raider. Thanks for your call. We are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. You can search via the search engine for particular topics or particular programs if you miss, missed something or if you want to refer a client or a patient or friend or loved one to um, one of our subjects or topics, Ben Fuchs Archives. Dot com Also, brightsideben.com has search engines associated with them. If you want to purchase products, you can do it right off the websites as well. Also, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of my Truth Treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And now, if you want to purchase our enzymes or the Bergamax product, you can go to brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. I've been fascinated with enzymes now, really, ever since pharmacy school. I was fascinated with enzymes, but more and more, it's becoming 
clear that enzyme deficiency is just as significant a problem as micronutrient deficiency, maybe even more significant of a healthcare issue than uh, micronutrient deficiency, and that's why I'm so proud and honored, and, and I feel very fortunate to have our next guest on, Victoris Kalvinskis, who is an expert, maybe the expert on enzyme nutrition. He's a recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2000 Raw Food Culinary Showcase in Jamaica. He's been studying enzymes for decades and decades, and he's a founder, co-founder of the Hippocrates Health Institute, lecturer, chef, author of numerous books, Don't Die Without Enzymes, For the Love of a Sprout, Love Your Body, the New Age Health Directory, Holistic Health Guide. It's my pleasure and honor to bring Victoris Kolvinskas onto the bright side. Hey, Victoris, what's up, my man? Enzymatically enjoying life. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. So what's the deal with enzymes? First of all, tell me a little bit about Hippocrates Health Institute, and then I want to get into some enzymes. What, what, what is the mission? What is the purpose? What is the Hippocrates Health Institute all about? Our, our function is to educate and create an environment where people will learn the tools and make a transition into wellness. Wellness is the key driving force and basically coming back into what nature offers, namely nature offers everything without a stove, without, uh, with minimal uh, basically uh, involvement. It's all emphasis on raw, alkaline, uh, green foods and uh, sprouts the kind of foods that make a difference in one's life and has a long tradition. Okay, now raw, you talk about raw a lot, and I'm right there with you about when it comes to eating raw and the problems associated with cooking. Largely, it's because of enzymes, correct? Or enzyme, the, the lack of enzymes in cooked foods. Well, actually, it's not only, uh, well, that's the flagship nutrient, is the enzymes in the, in the food itself. It's the one that is... Uh, most uh, sensitive to uh, temperature variations. Once you get past 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the enzymes are denatured and they will not function. They only will function as a contributing protein to your meal plan. But all nutrients are affected and the the decline of nutrients is quite rapid, not only rapid from the fact that a lot of the food is sitting on the shelves, even though it might be organic for three weeks in a bag, though it's chemical free, it's still uh, nutrient wise, it has declined greatly and also the bioavailability. So the closer you are to the source of your farm and eating fresh from the farm, the better off you are. That's why sprouting and indoor gardening is such a fantastic venture that I pioneered uh, over 50 years ago. What do you think the distinction, tell, talk a little bit about the distinction between enzymes and micronutrients, and then tell us what you think the relationship between enzyme deficiency and chronic degenerative disease is. First of all, the distinction between enzymes and what we call micronutrients. Talk a little bit about that. Well, enzymes are, ca are the only uh, nutrients within your body that actually does any kind of work. That means it either, uh, tr either breaks it down or reassembles. And basically, in the digestive process, it's a breakdown. Uh, similarly, within the immune functions, it's a breakdown of, of invading either organisms or invading particles and trying to get rid of it. That's your police force getting it out of your system. And metabolism re is reassembling and making operational all your body functions. So enzymes are operating on that level, whereas all the micronutrients, primarily they're a support team mm. uh, that uh, both are utilized by enzymes in order to maximize their functioning and uh, to be very specifically targeted. And also they participate in all the body uh, uh, from hormone production uh, to protein production uh, to all metabolic overall activity. But enzymes are the ones that are heat sensitive. They, their deficiency is, uh, uh, as, as an example, why body increases in temperature. Why do you have a fever? And it's the fact that you're deficient in enzymes. For every degree rise in temperature, uh, the enzyme activity increase, increases 35%. So. 
body is not having enough enzymes, so the way the body compensates for it is by increasing the temperature, and hmm. it doubles within a matter of three degrees that uh, enzyme activity within your body, which is involved in immune function and also healing the organism. Whereas vitamins uh, and minerals, they're all extremely important. Nothing can be underrated. Everything is important. But uh, enzymes, I feel, are the ones that are creating the miracles in the healing art. So, in other words, enzymes are the Brad Pitt or the Meryl Streep leading actor or the star of the show, and then the vitamins and the minerals are the supporting supporting cast. Absolutely. Okay, and they're all important, and obviously. Uh, you know, no single actor is a uh, key to a production of a uh, theater. Similarly, no single nutrient is uh, basically in isolation <laughs> could create the could create the production. Now, so a couple of things that you said are interesting. First of all, you can keep the body cool or the, the body can cool itself down more efficiently, which, of course, is related to longevity and health. A cooler body lives longer if there's enough enzymes present. Is that correct? Absolutely. As an example, I had a medical doctor and his wife uh, came over for our retreat center, and uh, they came, uh, the wife was quite sick, and she had a fever about 104 and was throwing up. And uh, I had her get on uh, very strong enzymes, and within a period, uh, every two hours taking it, and within a period of about four hours, she was out of the flu, all the flu symptoms not four hours, within a matter of 12 hours, she was out of the flu symptoms and she was able to participate in yoga and other activities. So uh, the doctor was blown away. So was I, uh, you know, just to see such a dramatic impact so in bringing the temperature back. So when you take in enzymes, your body's need for temperature decreases and eventually, mm -hmm. uh, basically, the temperature is normalized when the enzyme level of activity to keep your toxemia moving out of your system is uh, addressed, whether it's killing off viral invasion or my pathogenic microbe. Flu vaccine, so better than the flu vaccine. Make it sure something as benign as a flu or cold can, you can benefit or prevent by using enzyme supplements, is that correct? That, that would be uh, the best way. Uh, one of the, uh, like I said, one of the reasons uh, that you do get uh, conditions of uh, what, what they call uh, uh, increase in white blood cells, and there's a phenomena associated with cooked meals. It's called post-meal leukocytosis. Immediately mm. after the meal, uh, Your immune during system. the meal itself, the white blood cell count goes up by two, three, up to 700%. And the hold, that thought, hold that thought, hold that thought. Victorious, hold that thought. We gotta take a break, that's very important. I wanna get to that when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben, we're talking to Victorious Kalvinskas Enzyme Health. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We're back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Victoris Kolvinskis about enzyme and enzyme therapy. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing any of uh, our longevity or uh, enzyme products, you can head over to brightsidehealthproducts.com. Brightsidehealthproducts.com. Got a whole line of very high end enzyme products, including enzyme products that help you digest gluten, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. So, Victoris, you were talking about post prandial or post meal, if you will, post eating. Post meal leukocytosis. Leukocytosis. And basically, the white blood cell increase, they act like little golf carts going up through the metabolic pool and harvesting enzymes, bringing it to support digestion because without uh, adequate enzyme levels, uh, digestion would falter. And basically, if you keep on eating meals without enzymes, uh, what happens, your enzyme levels keep diminishing. And uh, it should be high levels of enzymes because we were by nature intended to eat all raw foods, mm. but nobody really is doing it. So the way to, over, to compensate for this phenomenon is to eat uh, with your meals enzyme capsules uh, like the ones uh, you're referring to on Brightside Health products. Now, there's an interesting relationship between gluten and enzymes, and you can actually use enzymes, or at least specific enzymes, to help process gluten, correct? Absolutely, and uh, most people don't have, uh, well, a major portion of a population doesn't have gluten intolerance at earlier years of their life because they have adequate levels of uh, enzymes. And what happens with aging, by the time you hit uh, 30, you have at least 15% uh, less enzymes 
total in your body than when you were 20. And by the time you hit 60, you have about 70% reduction on your enzyme levels. And these are the workforce that dealing with all the foods that you're eating. There's a there's an exceptional uh, magazine that comes out monthly, and it's been going on for about four decades at least. It's called it's called uh, Natural Toxins in Food. And 